What's up, what's up, and welcome to another episode, Master Motes Film Session. And today, man, we're going to be talking about Minka Fitzpatrick. I mean, talk about a guy playing the game the right way, a guy that, you know, does all the little things right, man. He's one of those dudes, and, you know, I just love his leadership, man, both on and off the field. So, we're going to talk a couple plays from him from this uh, Patriots game. You already know what to do, though. Hit that like button one time for the coach, and don't forget to subscribe, all right? But... That's Mink right there. Played in full speed. Then after that, we're going to break it down. I say, but yeah, this dude Mink right here, man. Fired up all the time. Love watching him work, man. Love watching him work. So, in terms of uh, Steelers defensively, man, they're in their base defense, right? Three down D linemen. You got Keanu Benton right here. Okay. Then from there, we got Ogan Joby, second, and then third down D lineman, Cam Hayward. Four outside line or four linebackers, right? High Smith, E Rob, Blake Martinez, TJ. Okay, so base defense. And what we're doing with uh, Minka right here, this is basically cover three. So he's the walk down safety. We call him the uh, extra defender. And what do we mean by that? Well, it's a numbers game, right? When we're talking about the, uh, the box count. And the number is this, man. How many blockers do they have for our defenders, right? So they got seven guys that can block up here, right? Then for us on the flip side, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys in the block. I mean the box, right? So when we say Minka is the extra defender, quarterback is not blocking right not on an inside run play and then we know ball carrier is not blocking for himself so minka understanding that he knows man if there's any type of run there's any type of gap i can shoot this thing and nobody is going to account for me because numbers are already reflected that so him understanding that he is the free defender he plays these he plays this super aggressive and he does this a lot and that's one of the things that i really enjoy watching about him it just shows his high level of understanding so with him being the extra defender he would have fit in between this tight end and where this tackle would have been right in terms of just being an extra guy but with the pull element happening now from this uh, offensive lineman, now Minka is really just going to have to use his athleticism. His speed, his berth is the, is the only thing that will either help him to make this play or will hinder him from making it because nobody's going to be able to block him on this. As you can see, even though 86, if he has a little bit better awareness, maybe he gets a piece of Minka, but his responsibility is high Smith, even though Juju's trying to just be overachiever right there. So with this being the case, I love the fact that not only does he shoot his gun in terms of getting in the backfield once he sees his hole, but he flattens out. That's how he's able to make this play. If Minka stays high, man, he's going to be grabbing Zeke by the shoulders. And Zeke is a strong running back, man. He is going to run through that any day of the week. But because Minka is able to get, you know, lower and saw him right down by the thighs and stuff like that, now you hit a real solid, you know, surface which ultimately will stop this defender or stop this ball carrier from running, takes his legs out, TJ gets got, ah, yeah, it hurt, definitely hurts. But Minka, fired up, love to see it, baby. But this is what Minka does, man. This is one of the things that doesn't get talked about a lot with him as he, as it pertains to him as a run defender. We know a lot of his stuff is highlight plays in the secondary, right? Big hits, picks, stuff like that. But this dude in the run game, man, big time contributor. But you know, I got another play we got to talk about, so don't touch that down. Now, in this final play right here, I really enjoy from Minka because number one, it shows his situational awareness. Understand he has a deep or has a team behind the sticks and his backed up football. The other part is it shows his athleticism and his desire to make a play. And then the final thing is his passion. Like I said, like I said, man, certain guys, man, they do this thing in the correct way. They do this thing in a way where you're just like, man, across the board, just check, check, check. Minka is one of those cats right here, man. So obviously you know how we do. Play it in full speed, then after that we're gonna break it down. But yeah, man. Let's cut the tape on this cat, man. It's no secret as to why he is a great player, man. It's no secret. Does all your little stuff and he can do the big stuff, man. <clears throat> so for this particular play, 
they're showing you a too high look, which I do enjoy from a disguise standpoint. But at the end of the day, they're going right back to their basic Tampa 2. That is the Steelers flavor. That's what they love to run. It's no secret, right? Shows up across the board. But what they do um, do a really good job of is having different body parts or different body uh, types doing different things. And what I mean is this. So typically with Tampa 2, your safety going to buzz half over here. He'll have half over here. You have your middle runner, vertical hook by your LB. Okay. Vertical hook by your LB, squat corner, squat corner. That's typically, you know, how you do it. But the way that we're going to get to it on this particular one is we're going to burst out <clears throat> our uh, inside linebacker to the flat. Now he's the squat corner. We're going to take Minka and we're going to insert him into the vertical hook. Why do I like that? For a couple of reasons. Number one is taking a guy that you would assume as a safety should be in the back half, bringing him down in the box. The second part is it gives you the illusion of cover three, because if he's a safety, like we just saw in that run play, what did he do? He went down in the box because it was cover three extra defender. You can't account for him. So I like how they're mirroring and mirror, or mirroring <clears throat> certain disguises with the two coverages that are going to work together or have the most similarities. So from there, we get Levi getting deep half. Trenton Thompson, he's your middle. Okay. Then over here, we kept this pretty much vanilla, vertical hook, squ uh, deep half, and kept him as a squat corner over here. So as you can see, we can get to this thing a couple of ways. But the beautiful part is, as long as everybody's on the same page, it works beautifully. Now, what I meant by situational awareness is this. It's third and 15 or third and backed up. So Minka's plan initially is lined up, what, two yards shallow of the first down uh, marker. As the play progresses, though, what does he notice? He notices a couple of things, and this is the part that I love, watch him trigger. He sees Zeke burst to the flat, but then stop. If Zeke is running a wheel route, if Zeke is trying to get a now pass or anything where he's trying to run over here and stretch him to the sideline, his momentum, his body is going to keep flowing that way. He's stopping right here. That's letting you know something. He's trying to get that ball right now, safety valve, whatever. And Minka understands, eat up the space, okay? There's also a blocker right here, okay? Minka also sees this guy. He understands, man, the more space I allow this guy to have, the worse it's going to be for me. So I need to figure out once again how to eat up this space, this ground, to make this play on this ball carrier right here. Or this uh, potential ball carrier right here, okay? So as the play continues to progress, watch my man Minka. Now he's where he's, he identifies that, you know what, I'm going to have to engage this guy. He's coming up with this plan right now. And this is where his athleticism and smarts takes over. I'm going to drop my shoulder, get inside leverage. Now get my head across the bow, get an ankle, <clears throat> getting off the field, fist in the air, and he is fired up. I love it, man. Give me passion. Don't just be out here just running around getting cardio. Nah, man. Tell me you fired up. Show me you fired up. Act like you're excited to make a play out here, man. And that's what this guy does continually. But I love this right here, man. High level in terms of the detail with the disguise. High level with the detail in terms of the pre-snap, the post-snap adjustments. And at the end of it, making the actual play. And this is also out of dime personnel, okay? That's Pat P. That's Trent Thompson. There is no other linebacker out there opposite of Mikel Walker, okay? So, like I said, man. A lot of different variations that were, uh, or a lot of personnel groupings that we're utilizing out there at times. But Minka Fitzpatrick has been one of those key catalysts to allowing us to get away with some of this because of his ability to play both the run and the pass, man. But you guys let me know your thoughts on what you've been seeing from Minka this season and uh, what you expect to see from him going forward. But either way, you know I appreciate you for tuning in. And until next time, baby, peace.